Look, it's three and a half inches, three and a half inches big and sold for $4,500. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for big profits. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's talk about how I found these bolos. And that is through my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you guys aren't in it, there is a link down below in my link tree. And this one is share your best March Bolo. You can find these posts in the announcements slash featured section of my group. I would love for you guys to come over and share your big money April Bolo. I do this every month and then I create videos and share them with everybody watching so that we can all find more Bolos out in the wild. Also, be sure to share your social media or um, platform names so that I can shout those out in the video. So the first bolo we're going to talk about right now is this one right here. It is a Royal Bones hoodie, extra large, and she used the word goth, and it is a hot topic. Goth and gothic is what she put in the title. So this is what it looks like. Uh, Royal Bones, that is the brand. Huh. There you go. That's what it looks like. She said paid $3 and 75 cents at the Goodwill sold on promotion for 84. So I don't know if this is a Bolo brand or if this sold for more because it has the skulls on it and what it looks like. Uh, so do a little research on that, but definitely pick up things that are unique and different because they can uh, sell for more be just due to what they look like. This one is a Melanz Melanzana. <laughs> wow, never heard of that brand. But let's see if we can find a picture of what the tag looks like because this looks like it is possibly a big money bolo brand. So it's on the outside there. And that's not it. Well, maybe there isn't an up close of it. Okay, so can't find an up close, but there is the little patch here on the side that would trigger you to like pay attention. It's very bright. It looks like it's neon. Now, I don't know if they're all neon. Sold on the 13th on Mercari for full price of 130, which was the same day I listed it. So this sold in one day for 130 on Mercari. A lot of people think Mercari is a garage sale app. That is absolutely not true. You can get big money for your items over on Mercari. Um, I've got lots of what sold videos on items that I have sold on Mercari. If you're thinking about selling on Mercari, I do have a referral link down below where you can get $10 to shop when you join with it and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And then you can use that money to buy something else to resell. I also get money to shop, so I appreciate it when you guys use my referral and affiliate links down below. Another thing that I use is List Perfectly. That's how I cross post my items. They've got the Pro Plus plan out now with lots of updated features that are going to help you with your reselling business. Just absolutely amazing. So check out those updates to list perfectly. You can use my referral code to upgrade and also to join and get 30% off your first month. So definitely check that out. So what they wrote about this even had flaws on back of collar. They said they spotted the green logo, which I just mentioned from like five feet away and rushed over to it. So this must be a brand that resellers that sell clothing know about. Me, I don't do clothing anymore very much. So uh, I don't know about this brand. So you guys let me know in the comments if you knew about it. Paid $8 and on the 8th, just heard about this brand last month when someone posted in a group where they found two hoodies. So was surprised that I found it. The brand can only be originally bought in their store, which is by appointment only. Ah, there you go, guys. There's a little backstory. That's probably why I have never heard of it. Thank you, guys. When you provide extra information like that, it's very, very helpful. Uh, this is a Ping Eye 2 Black Dot Iron set. And they are uh, clubs, golf clubs. I blanked out and missed the February post. And this was probably a once in a lifetime find and my best so far this year. New in the shipping box. Wow. Price tag still on them. Golf clubs picked up at a garage sale portion of an estate sale for $20. Long part. This company puts the good stuff on auction, then lets you go through the garage sale portion when you arrive. Oh, that's interesting. 
So it's probably an online auction. And then when you go to pick up, there's more stuff. She said her son was in the car, in a car wreck that morning. And she was really, and she was ready to send them an email that she would not be able to pick up. But he finally called and said he was okay, just needed picked up. She said she ran over, picked up the stuff and quickly ran through the yard sale and found these. She said, when I showed up to the sale, my son, he agreed that I made the right decision to pick up the auction stuff, then him. <laughs> so her son wasn't mad about it. She uh, looks like she sold this for $495 and paid 20. So that is a fun little story. So yeah, very, very cool. And it was still there. That is fantastic. So golf clubs, I, I kind of like the idea of it being in the box and easy to ship because golf clubs, I don't know if I'd want to ship that. All right. The next item is this Western hat, Rand's Custom Hats, Billings, Montana, size 22 and a half, 2012. She said, I picked up two sets of cowboy hats in February. This set was 65 for four hats. The hat was set at the highest price and sold for $256.50. The other set, about 10 hats was almost 60. And she said she's made her money back on the bread and butter fedoras and cabbie hats. So she made her money back on those. And this one, it looks like sold for $256.50. So what a great pickup. Western hat. There you go. Another fun item to ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. My biggest sale on eBay so far. Ooh, Satchel or Sattler Munchen specializes in camera mounts and tripods. Paid 265 at a local auction house here in Tennessee. I probably should have listed with offers instead of seven-day auction. I still came out ahead. Sold it for $800. Yeah, that's I mean, that seems like a lot of money to me, $800, but I don't know anything about this or what they go for. So I always say, start your auction at what you would list it for on buy it now. So start it high. They did start it high, but maybe uh, they go for over a thousand. I have no idea. So definitely be on the lookout for this brand. The next item, I love it. It's a Vanity Fair, September, 1999 back issue. What do you think? What do you think? So let's see what she wrote. Way back in 1999, I had a subscription to Vanity Fair for a $12 a year. I saved this magazine all this time and it just sold for $41.95 free shipping. Old magazines can sell if they're in great condition. I never took this one out of the plastic wrapping and an interesting or popular subject. So there you go. Um, it looks like she priced it at 200. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. This is not her actual listing. I don't think I could actually find her listing. I think it was uh, uh, past the time frame that, and it wouldn't let me pull it up. But this is the same one. Hers was sealed in the plastic, but this person has theirs listed for 200. So um, I don't think it's sold yet. But anyway, just something to keep in mind, old magazines. Vintage 1966 Ideal Giggles doll, 18-inch flirty blue eyes, not giggling, but eyes work. This one sold in Canada. She said, found this old girl at a value village for $4.99. Uh, posted for $199.99, made an offer in a couple days for $160 plus $40 shipping in Canada, and shipping is very expensive. And there you have it. She said, this is the fifth thing I have ever sold on eBay. Wow, that a big money bolo and only the fifth sale. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Good job. Um, Elizabeth Bradley, Victorian Animal Series, Contended Dog Needlepoint. No, Contented. Contented. <laughs> I said contended. Oh, my goodness. Um, says I picked up six of these needle point kits from a thrift store, paid a dollar each sold for 180 and another on a best offer of 150 has four left. Yeah. Needle point and cross stitch and, uh, cruel. Those can all go for big money. If you find the right ones, um, whoops, I'm going the wrong way here. Here is the other one that sold, I think best offer of 150 and you can see what that one looks like. Elizabeth Bradley, not a brand I've heard of. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever sold this brand? 
The next one is this, um, it's a telescope. And there it is. It says this telescope was founded in an estate sale for I think about a hundred. I've had it sitting in my living room for a couple years thinking maybe I'll keep it, but decided to finally sell it. And it sold for $800 in about a week. How many of you guys buy things and you're like, I want to keep that. And then you're like, nope, I'm not keeping it. That's worth big money. I know I've done that. I've looked it up and I'm like, I wanted this, but I think I'd rather sell it. This one says, I went to visit my cousin in Tennessee for Thanksgiving weekend. He was emptying out my aunt and uncle's apartment and told me to take anything I wanted back to New York with me. My uncle had several v VCRs and we took them all knowing they could get money. Listed this on January 19th and got a few low ball offers, but I held out knowing it was worth more. It sold on March 7th for full asking price of $525 with shipping. The buyer was all in for $637.30. I have also received positive feedback on this sale. I would love to find more of these. My eBay name is Special K525. And it also says Long Island Resell right here. So this one, yeah. Do you see how they showed a picture of it working or a video? Definitely, definitely going to get you more, especially on these high dollar electronics. Showing that it works is a good idea. So you can see they've got that little play video. All right. This one is mine. And I picked these up at a thrift store. I want to say they were $1.25 each. And so $6 approximately all in, maybe a little more. Sold for a best offer of $75. I priced this pretty high because it's a, what I, I couldn't find any comps and it's mohair. And I just was very, very patient. This took a long time to sell. Now, I believe I had an offer in the past that I declined. It was either this one or another color that I have. Originally, these were $5.65 each, and you can see somebody wrote $2, and this is what it looks like. So I was happy with $75. Thought it was going to go for more, but you know sometimes we're just wrong. And one thing I'm bad about is reducing my prices. I just list it and forget it. So had I uh, reduced the price sooner, I probably would have sold this quicker. The next item, vintage signed Christian Dior faux pearl bead necklace. Faux pearl, meaning not real pearls, and um, also has a broken clasp, but it is Christian Dior. So people look for high dollar brands and they will fix them. But you can see right here is the little signature. Easily could have been missed if you didn't open that clasp. So always look. Uh, picked up out of a unit sold for 80 in mere hours. So storage unit find. The next item comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. She is also a moderator of the group and has an amazing YouTube channel. Please go give her a follow. She is fabulous. Just a wealth of knowledge. Vintage 1969 Police Cruiser Redline Hot Wheels White Open Hood Hong Kong Parts. And she said, I listed and sold this item. She sold it for her 11-year-old grandson. He is learning how to list and resell and has a great eye. But this particular item was buried in the backyard of our current home. Oh, my goodness. He cleaned it up and it sold for an offer of $40 within a few days. Buried in the backyard. What? How on earth did you find that? That is incredible. What a story. Vintage miniature base signed Kamer, Asian style porcelain blue and white dollhouse. So this is just an itty bitty miniature. I love finding things like this. Uh, this is a teeny tiny porcelain vase, one and three fourths high by one inch diameter. I believe it came in a baggie with several other small vases that I picked up at Savers. I paid $3 for this vase. It sold for 18 plus shipping. Edge City Traders on eBay, Etsy and whatnot. So dollhouse is a great keyword to put in the title. All right. Are you ready for this huge bolo? Oh my goodness. Farm Girl Scavengers on eBay. Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle on YouTube. She does it again. What? Uh, Trader Vix Reed and Barton silver plated. I don't even know how to say that. Minihune Tiki Bar figurine paperweight. Wow. Wow. And more wow. So she said... For those of you who don't know, and I know there are many who do, Tiki is always a thing to look for 
and Trader Vic's is definitely a Bolo brand. She said she picked this little guy up at an estate sale in October of 2022. Yes, 17 months it has been listed. So it, it was long tail. Uh, but Noel and I both say listed high and take offers and wait for the right buyer. Uh, that's kind of what we both feel because otherwise you list your items low and you list at the bottom and then eventually everybody's trying to list lower than everyone else. And what that ends up doing is decreasing the value of our items. So by listing high, this helps retain or increase the value of items because you listed it high and you waited. Now, this is not everybody's thing. A lot of people do not do this. So let me know in the comments, do you list high and take best offers or are you trying to be in the medium and the middle range or do you price it at the bottom so you can sell it the quickest? Let me know. She said, I paid a whopping $6 for him and he was out in a shop garage sitting on a shelf next to some action figures and toys. She said, I found him on the second day and he was dirty and grimy, a little wash with soap and water and a toothbrush and well the rest is history by the way you cannot insure anything over a thousand with ebay shipping so make sure you use pirate pirate ship for larger dollar items as well as signature delivery she said woke up this morning and sent out a 10 percent offer to watchers and this is what happened paid and shipped also had a little chat with the buyer they were so excited um instagram youtube and ebay farm girl scavenger noel and i want to say so it was uh, almost 5,000 and she sent out a 10% offer. So probably sold it for 4,500. Absolutely amazing Bolo. Would you guys have walked past it or picked it up? Look, it's three and a half inches, three and a half inches big and sold for $4,500. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right, you guys go share your best April Bolo in the Facebook group and I will feature your Bolo in a video just like this. Thank you to all that shared. I appreciate it greatly. You're helping everybody learn. Um, please follow anybody that shared their uh, stores and their YouTube channels. Great way to learn. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.